So letting that sound reverberate through your body, focusing on the here and now through your breath. With each inhale, imagining you're drawing in the life force energy of the present. Each breath is what keeps you alive and present. So when you breathe in, drawing that energy in and feeling your lungs, feeling your aliveness, And deeply and slowly breathing your inhale and your exhale to just release and surrender. You might notice that you rock your pelvis to sit under you a little bit more. You relax your muscles and surrender to this position, feeling supported by the earth below you. And the goal of this meditation is to just accept and have compassion for what is present. So if your mind is active, you can just acknowledge and accept that your mind wants to be active and without trying to change it, try to change your perspective to it. Have compassion for yourself first. And you might imagine that you can just take your thoughts and set them down to the side, allowing anything that you're carrying with you today, any heaviness, to just be held by the earth. You can always pick it up later. Your to-do list will be there later. Right now, it's just the breath and this present moment. Imagine the breath being the spirit of air entering your body and like your thoughts being clouds, just being caught by the wind and being pulled away. And as you become more and more present, I'll have you imagine that you're relaxing from the top down, that the crown of your head opens to receive a divine nectar of light and love pouring down and relaxing you at the scalp, allowing your forehead to relax, your eyes to soften. With each exhale, you soften even more, noticing that your jaw releases and your tongue. Feeling the base of your skull and down your neck, like this dripping warm blanket of relaxation coming over you, softening your shoulders, allowing your arms to feel heavy and supported. Feeling this warm wave of relaxation crossing over your chest and back. Just allowing all the muscles to soften. Your rib cage is just there holding without tension. Your spine is gently stacked. Your belly and your internal organs feel soft and held. You can release your lower belly, your hips, that pelvic bowl just softening your glutes relaxing.
remembering to breathe and invite in the softening. Your thigh muscles relax, your knees and the rest of your leg just sinking deeper into the floor, feeling held and supported from beneath you. And once you're feeling totally relaxed, I want you to imagine that you have roots growing from the base of your spine, from your lower body, sending this supportive, anchoring, grounding energy downward into the earth, appreciating the leaves and the layers of soil, deeper into layers of sand and rock, allowing your roots to grow far and wide Noticing the other roots of plants and trees and each other in the circle, growing down, feeling anchored, rooted, reaching lower and lower beneath the soil to feel the connection to Mother Earth. going through her change of seasons. We feel her nourishment of the harvest, of all the growth of summer coming to fruition. We see the mushrooms popping up and are aware that under the soil is where we feel connected to our nurturing, mothering, nourishing energy below. And as your roots grow and explore the rocks and crystals and layers below you, Eventually, you're going to come to the center of the earth where the heart of Pachamama, Mother Nature, resides. And your roots can reach around her like a big hug, like you're hugging the most benevolent mother, most nurturing, kind, loving, supportive feminine nature and she is able to offer you loving acceptance and a beautiful embrace in return. Staying with your breath and following my voice, we're going to imagine drawing up the energy of earth, all the water and nutrients that you need to feel abundantly nourished and receiving that from the deep earth through your roots up into your body. And you start by nourishing your root chakra parts of your body that are touching the earth, that are your anchor for security, safety, and acceptance. Giving yourself compassion for any change or unsettling feelings. Trusting that you are supported. And feeling that beautiful red glow of that chakra 
expanding within your body. Allowing all of your attention and focus to go to your root, feeling completely present, breathing in this grounded connection. As you feel that strength within you growing, that nourished support, we're going to draw that up your central channel and you can bring it in at whatever speed feels good to you, illuminating your second chakra, that beautiful orange color, allowing it to ignite some passion and creativity for your own self-love. How can you show up for yourself? You're doing it right now by being present and acknowledging your body, your energy body. And that energy rises up to this hara center belly yellow glowing sun that you carry with you. This is your empowerment center. This is where you feel confident to take action on your purpose. And with complete acceptance, acknowledging that you are a beautiful soul on an adventurous journey. You are exactly where you're meant to be. You are on your path. And the next chapter will unfold before you. Get this energy all the way up into the heart. Take an extra deep breath, allowing your heart to expand, your rib cage to expand and receive more of your breath. Feeling the energy expand, shining that bright light out from your heart, front, sides, back. being aware of the other hearts in this beautiful circle of love, calling you into presence, calling you into love, and we're going to use a blessing here at the heart chakra known as metta. This is where you send energy to yourself, wishing that you be healthy, content, and feeling at ease. So holding that ease in your heart, and then blessing yourself that your relationships be kind, respectful, and free of harm. Holding that kindness for yourself, compassion for yourself. May you create and discover meaning in whatever work you choose or find yourself doing. May your thoughts and actions be helpful to you and benefit others. And may you have peace of heart and mind. So 
surrendering judgment, accepting yourself. And in this season of the eclipse and the shadow work that we're called to be doing, I want you to ask yourself where it is in your life that you judge others the most. Remember, we're doing this with compassion, understanding that no one is perfect and all is well. And we'll give you a chance to send compassion to those that you've passed judgment upon. Seeing them in their wholeness, understanding they're human and make mistakes. And the work of the shadow is to project what is inside onto others. So hold up that mirror and look at where you judge yourself. Loving yourself and offering compassion to those parts of you that have felt unlovable unworthy, undeserving. Having compassion for your process and what you're going through. And accepting that those parts of you that you judge are just parts of your inner child that was rejected by your beloved caregivers when you were little. We're all wounded from not being loved in the most perfect ways. This is part of our human experience and the more we can have compassion for ourselves and our caregivers, our loved ones, those we've lost, the more we can feel peace and align with our highest selves. I'm going to offer some affirmations of self-love for this moment while you're aware of the judgments. You can tell yourself, I am worthy of love. I am a radiant being who is loved and lovable. trust myself to be kind to myself and others. And I have compassion for the places where I have pain and suffering. May you be healthy, content, and at ease. May your relationships be kind, respectful, and free of harm. May you create and discover meaning in whatever work you choose or find yourself doing. May your thoughts and actions be helpful to you and benefit others. May you have peace of heart and mind. And now we're gonna offer our loving compassion to each other and the world. 
sending this blessing of metta out to your loved ones, to your neighbors, to your friends, your coworkers, wishing them health, contentment, and ease. Sending them compassion in hopes that their relationships are kind, respectful, and free of harm. Wishing that they feel meaning in their work and their thoughts and actions are helpful to themselves and the world. Sending a prayer for peace out to the wars. That all people feel safe and loved. And we can imagine that our love is flowing out of us like a beautiful pink cloud of loving energy that grows and grows and grows surrounding the whole city, reaching to mountains and oceans and wishing the self-love and compassion for others. The health and safety for our forests, our, the wild animals, and all the beings that are here on planet Earth with us. And as we feel that in our hearts and send it out, I want you to also send that energy up Sending the energy through your throat to activate your voice. Using an audible sigh on your next exhale. <sighs> Allowing the energy to flow up to your third eye to visualize love and compassion and peace in the world. to go all the way up, connecting you to the divinity of the energy of your highest self, divine spirit, whatever you might call that energy, and allowing the love from the divine, from the sun, from the moon, whatever you associate with spirit. Sending those blessings of compassion down to you. Helping to support your energy flow that you might live in ease. That you're able to see and hear and feel kindness and compassion. That you're able to feel purpose and meaning in your life and what you do. And that your mind may be quiet so that you can feel peace, and that your heart may feel open so that you can receive love. Get that energy flow Namaste. really activated in your body. I want you to imagine a infinity or a figure eight of energy from the top of your head, crossing at your heart and scooping up the energy from the earth below you to bring back into your heart 
and cycle through the top of your head, connecting the divinity and nourishment from below, receiving it in your heart, drawing it down from above, and offering both the above and the below a connection point within your body. So allow every cell of your body to feel into this flow of the figure eight, connecting your heart down to your root and up above to the divine. You can use your hand to really activate and move the energy if you feel like you'd like to use some motion just spreading the love from your own heart down to the earth, from your own heart up to above, your future self, however you like to think of that. And really allowing that to energize you, activate your inspired action, your internal flow of passion and purpose and love. grounded in both the earth and the sky, open at the center. And as I bring this meditation to a close, I want you to be really present with your breath and your cellular body, feeling your breath flowing in that pattern into every cell of your body. Breathing the flow of love. feel complete, bring your hands to your heart. Allowing your heart to bless your hands, your hands to bless your heart. You're in good hands with this beautiful heart of yours. Use the spell to bring us back when you feel ready to wiggle your toes, open your eyes, coming back into the present waking consciousness, remembering how you feel and what you've done. Namaste.